hop into pre-K story time. Welcome everyone. This week we're gonna be reading and learning all about babies. Let's look at the book and we're gonna, just like we've been learning about plants and what they need to survive, we're now gonna lurk and talk about human babies and what they need to survive. Now we have a new book for this week. It's called Everywhere Babies. And it's written by Susan Meyer. She's the author. And what's the author do? You're right, writes the book. And then it's illustrated by Marlo Frazzi. And what's the illustrator do? You're right, they draw the pictures. Based on the title, Everywhere Babies, what do you think this book is gonna be about? What do you predict? Hmm, I hear your predictions. Some of you think it's gonna be about babies. And some of you have some even different ideas. Well, let's see and explore. Every day, everywhere, babies are born. There's fat babies, thin babies, small babies, and tall babies. <laughs> there are winter and spring babies, and even summer and fall babies. Every day, everywhere, on their cheeks, on their ears, their fingers, and then those babies are kissed. They're kissed on their cheeks, their ears, their fingers, their nose. On the top of the head, on their tummies, and even their toes. Hey, I hear some rhyming words. I have a question for you. Why do you think the babies are kissed? Share your ideas with your family. Every day, everywhere. Babies are dressed. They're dressed in diapers and t-shirts, in buntings and sleepers, in play suits and dresses, in sweaters and creepers. Every day, everywhere. Babies are fed by bottle, by breast, with cups and with spoons, with milk and then cereal, carrots and prunes. Every day, everywhere, babies are rocked. in cradles and chairs at nap time and night, by friends and relations who cuddle them tight. Why do you think we rock babies? Hmm. Tell your family, why do you think we rock babies? Yeah, I hear some of you saying it could maybe help them go to sleep. Every day, everywhere, babies are carried in backpacks, in front packs, in slings, and in strollers. Can you see here the different ways that babies are carried? Why do we have to carry them? Oh, because they don't walk yet. Okay, some of them aren't walking yet. We have, we have them in car seats and bike seats and even on daddy's shoulder. Can you see the baby that's on daddy's shoulder? Every day and everywhere, babies make noise. Can you think about some of the noises that baby makes? They cry and they squeal. They giggle and they coo. They bang and they splash. They clap their hands too. Why do you think some babies make noises? Oh, maybe they need help, okay. Maybe they're hungry, okay. Or maybe they're wet and they need to be changed. Yeah, babies, 
make noise because that's the way, or they made me be, be happy. Because babies make noises to express what they may need and how they feel. Because are babies able to talk yet? You're right, not yet. But they make noises to get our attention. Every day, everywhere. Babies like toys. Oh, that sounds like a lot of pre-K one. We love toys too. Rattles and tops and books that won't tear. Old pots and pans and a fuzzy brown bear. Every day, everywhere. Babies play games. Oh, this looks like lots of fun. They play peekaboo, pat a cake, and this little piggy. Roll the ball, ride a horse, and jiggity jiggy. <laughs> I love that picture of them riding the horse. Every day, everywhere. Babies make friends. We make friends too. With a puppy, a kitten, a goldfish, a bunny. With young people, old people, anyone funny. Every day, everywhere. Babies are crawling. Wait, 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 why do babies have to crawl? They crawl forward and backwards on bottoms and knees. You're right, they crawl because they, they need to move and get around and they're not walking yet like us, like the way we walk with, two, with our two legs going forward and standing up. So they crawl to get around, you're right. Upstairs and downstairs, wherever they please. Wow, look at all these crawling babies. Every day, everywhere. Uh-oh. <gasps> Babies are walking. Oh, look at the little boy. He's getting ready to walk. One step, another, they fall down, and then... They pick themselves up and try it again. Yeah, babies don't give up. They keep trying to walk. Every day, everywhere. Babies are growing. They can run, they can jump, they can slide, they can swing. They can dig, they can climb, they can talk, they can sing. Just like we're growing, the babies are growing too. Every day, everywhere, babies are loved. Oh, look at the family that loves the baby. Their love for trying so hard, for traveling so far, for being so wonderful. Just as they are. Oh, silly baby. Make quite a mess, but we love you, baby. Let's get ready for our vocabulary for the week. Bye-bye. These are our vocabulary words for the week. Our first word is bassinet. Say it with me, bassinet. Do you know what a bassinet is? Look at the picture. You're right, it's a small bed for a baby. Yeah, it keeps them safe also. They have their own place to sleep. The next word is b b b Bib, b ib, bib. And you see the bib on a little baby? Yeah, that's a small piece of fabric that's tied under the baby's chin and it keeps food or milk from staining their clothes. B -b 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 bib. What sound do you hear in the beginning? B -b -b right, what, what letter makes that sound? B. The next word is diaper. Have you seen diapers around or on babies? Yeah, you have, right? Yeah, a diaper is an absorbent material. An absorbent means it absorbs all of any of the, anything that the baby like has to go to the bathroom, it'll absorb it all in the diaper. And then it's worn like an underwear because the baby's not toilet trained yet like you are. So the baby needs until they're ready to go to the toilet 
that diaper helps them. Let's say d d d d diaper d d d d right d. That's the sound of the d letter. The next word is newborn. Oh, look at the little newborn baby. Right, it's a baby just born. You also call them infant too. N n n newborn. Right, it starts with the letter n. You hear that n n newborn. Can you think of any other words that start with the letter n? N n n n nuts. Right, anything else that you can think of? N n n numbers. No, right, there's so many words that start with the letter N that we can think of. The next word is pediatrician. Say it with me, pediatrician. Again, pediatrician. And that's a doctor who just takes care of babies and children. You've probably seen a pediatrician before because you've gone to the doctor's office, right? With mommy or daddy or grandma or another adult that takes you there. Right, and a pediatrician is a doctor that helps just the children and the babies. Pa, pa, pa. Pediatrician, say it again. Pediatrician. The next word, do you know what this toy is? You're right, it's called r r r rattle. R r r. What letter makes that r sound? Right, the R. Can you think of some words that start with the r sound or the R letter sound? Rainbow. Robin, any other words? Right, that starts with the letter R. And a rattle's a toy for babies and they love it because they can hold it and it makes lots of noises. So let's just go through our vocabulary for the week. Bassinet, bib, diaper, newborn, pediatrician, and rattle. Have a great week. We're gonna be learning all about babies. See you soon.